woman is facing an unplanned pregnancy, a toxic abortion drug is the last thing she needs. At the very least, the, the medical principle of informed consent demands that abortion-bound women be informed that the effects of mifepristone can be reversed by a large influx of progesterone into her system within 72 hours of ingestion. As SB 591 states, time is of the essence. The American Association of Pro-Life Obstetricians and Gynecologists supports this procedure. I serve on a medical board for a clinic in Madison uh, named Our Lady of Hope Clinic, and our medical director, Dr. Michael Clay, has successfully uh, performed this procedure. So it does work. A uh, question for Ledge Council. Um, currently in our statutes, we have a, a ban on abortions that's been uh, on the books for quite a while. Since then, we've had maybe a dozen uh, laws that came through that deal with abortion. If this bill or other bills are adopted and the Supreme Court overturns Roe v. Wade, um, do all these uh, restrictions on abortion still stay in our statutes, but they're moot at this point? If, for the hypothetical, if, uh, let's say, Roe v. Wade is completely overturned, then the default in Wisconsin would be that abortion is illegal, is prohibited. Um, this bill, this particular bill, uh, related to informed consent and uh, 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 reporting requirements, um, I don't think would be affected by those constitutional questions on a woman's right to, to receive an abortion. Um, so if this were to be enacted, um, it would, I, I think, be, be effective um, you know, immediately.